Hey, what's going on guys? Nick from Practically Tactical. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. So, for all the gear guys out there, Jesse, I think they're going to dig this video. Yeah. This is uh, gear-centric plate carriers. So what we're going to be doing in this video, which is not a review, we're just comparing. So we have the Condor Urban Go, uh, comparison to the Grey Ghost Minimalist Plate Carrier versus your plate carrier. This is the Mayflower APC. Mayflower APC. So uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll let's just look at the features of the Condor. We'll work for maybe... Lowest price to highest price and show some comparisons. Sure, that? sure. I think okay. That's a good idea. I'll throw this one down just right here. <clears throat> so what we have right here is the uh, the Condor Outdoors uh, Urban Go plate carrier. Comes in about, I believe, 50 bucks, give or take a few dollars. Yeah, um, I'm sure you can you can honestly probably find it for cheaper than that out yeah, there. Like some Amazon places. or something. Yeah. Um, yep, I got this with my AR500. Uh, plates again. There's a there's a video actually on this uh, as well as the as the as the plates themselves. So you guys can go check that out if you want to look something uh, detailed, uh, close up detail on this. So real quick, it comes at about fifty dollars. Uh, it's definitely more of your budget type of carrier, but I think for the price you get a pretty good amount of uh, features out of it. Uh, the shoulder straps do come padded, as you can see right here. Uh, they do come with adjustable. You can adjust them to make uh, to make it fit your body. And they velcro down so you don't have straps just dangling down. Uh, to put the plates in, just take that down right there, put your plates in, velcro it back up. Uh, it does have internal paneling as well with clips on the side right there. So it does offer a little bit of padding with it uh, basically being raised so you do get a little ventilation in there as well. Um, Condor Sparks actually aren't made out of terrible material. No, and I mean, I'll say, like I said, when 05 Iraq, a lot of guys were wearing this over our interceptor vest in the Army, um, you know, because we could only attach our pouches and stuff. We had to actually wear the armor in the vest that we had. So, I mean, a lot of us would, yeah, buy this cheap plate carrier, be able to throw it on, and it made a world of difference in balancing out that load, you know. So, I mean, is it the best gear in the world? No, you know, it, but it's priced accordingly. Again, you're talking... Not made in America, um, you know. You might have the stitching, you know, is going to be off, you know, some of this molly stripping. But, I mean, really on this one, it, it looks decent. You can see there's a wide amount of room to fit a lot of different plates, yep. soft armor. Uh, you have some hook and loop, but really no kangaroo pouches here. You do have a drag handle. And, I mean, it's probably made out of 500 or 1,000 quarter. I'm yep. not exactly sure. But, you know. It, it makes it something to put your plates in. And like I said, when you're doing a basic budget for a guy that is literally just kind of doing a prepping deal, he wants yeah. something that he can throw in his closet for that end of a world insurance, you know, it, it's an option. Yeah, it's an absolutely. option out there. You know, if it's something too where, you know, maybe you, you, you had to scrape together the money for the plates and need something to put the plates in, is it, that you could do far worse, far, far worse, I think, uh, than this Condor Urban Go Carrier. Yeah, I mean, again, you're talking, that, that would be the bare minimum, for yep. sure. Bare minimum. So, it's definitely a little bit wider. You can see it angles out a little bit. Um, again, that is going to put more play into your plates, especially if you're on a, a slightly more advanced cut like I have in here. So Another yeah. big thing is going to be these shoulders here. The wider the shoulder, you got to think you're, you're shouldering a rifle. So, when it covers way out here on your shoulder, that's putting right where that butt stock's going to be. So that's another big thing, especially with these big buckles and stuff like that. You might have some interference there. Yeah, very you good know? point. Very good point. Um, then, of course, got Velcro for patches because that's most important. And, uh, yeah, that's just a quick look at the at, for the comparison video of the Condor Outdoors. So next up, let's go take a look at the Grey Ghost Minimalist Plate Carrier. All right, guys, so here is my Grey Ghost Minimalist Plate Carrier. I had a chance to run this through a class. Uh, I actually really enjoy it, but I want a little bit more before we do a full review on it. So this one is, again, made by Grey Ghost, minimalist plate carrier. Uh, MSRP is about $115. They do sales, however, you, you can sometimes catch them around $80, $85 bucks in there. Uh, and again, it, the, the title of this, of the name of this product really gives away it's minimalist plate carrier. Definitely. Uh, it's very slim. There's not a lot of material. Anything that can be cut out basically is. So uh, this is, of course, in Cryptic uh, Highlander because that makes me more high speed. We all know that. So in here right now are the AR500 plates that I have from uh, AR500.com. Uh, very, very simple to put it in. There's just a Velcro under here. Pull it up. There's the plate. And you can notice right here that it doesn't even go down all the way. So it's not like an enclosed like pocket. 
So it does come up. And what that does is if for some reason you want a longer plate, you can actually Velcro it down and you have room for a longer plate as well. This is designed for 10 by 12 plates, but obviously if you run an 11 by 14 plate, it'll fit in here as well. Of course, uh, we got the webbing in front. You got adjustable straps that uh, are thin and I think the big thing here would be is it's pretty flat. Yeah, There's no, no big buckles no, on there Exactly, to no interfere. buckles. That is the, the biggest key is that buckle really, you know, puts it out there. You don't get a small buckle. Yep. Uh, you do have a little pocket right in here in front. Uh, just goes right through so you can put your Skittles or Jolly Ranchers or yep. treasure maps right in there. Um, now, and this is something that's kind of interesting too, and again, maybe it goes off the minimalist aspect. Uh, you can actually access inside your plate through the front pocket right here. So um, I, maybe that maybe it breathes more. The downside with that I see is just junk and stuff can get in here. So uh, that might be a downside of it. But of course, it's got really nice stitching on here. It's got matching stitch, stitching on here. So the plate looks really good. The carrier looks really good. Uh, the back, of course, matches as well. Side adjustments. Uh, it's open plate, so there's nothing on the side. So for those that maybe want to wear a plate carrier but still carry it inside the waistband uh, on a hip to maybe 2 o'clock-ish, you can probably still carry it inside the waistband. Uh, highly adjustable on the sides. Again, it does come with a clip. And you can see here this thing is highly adjustable. I mean, I'm a pretty big guy, and I still have plenty of room to wear this. So I think that's a big thing, too. Is even though it's minimalist, it still does work for the big guys out there like myself. Uh, the inside of it is it definitely ventilates a lot of air in here. I did not have any sweat issues when I ran this. Uh, so you can see right here, this meshing, this mesh in here uh, breathes really, really nice. And again, I didn't have any like sweat pockets build up or anything along those lines. Uh, so far, it's really, really nice. It's made of high quality. It's made out of Cordura. On their website, they just say it's mil spec, um, but it's made out of you know 500,000 Cordura. Yeah. Um, or they also use some <clears throat> Riptide stuff. I mean, Grey Ghost Gear is known for high quality stuff. No, that's the thing, guys. This is. Not packed with features, but it's completely minimalist. It's basically, you know, to you to wear under a jacket, low profile. I mean, it covers just the vital areas, and I mean, that's what it does, and yeah. it does it great. And we're talking, like I said, it's priced right. It's definitely affordable. You can see how much better it's going to fit the plates. And I mean, you can see by this plate, this is kind of a awkward shaped plate already, and it still yeah. holds it in there nice and tight. Whereas there's just a lot more wiggle room in something like the Condor there. Yeah. So you're, you're definitely getting, a, yeah, kind of just a lot higher quality of a product. This is going to last you a lot longer. You're going to be a lot happier with that purchase for, you know, a long time. Well, yeah, an extra 40 bucks somewhere in there. So yeah. I, if you're looking for a complete minimalist, you're not looking to, I mean, it has the Molly to attach pouches yep, and I such, have. and they sell them on the website. So, yep. I mean, you can run it pretty slick and... Yeah, I mean, that's... It, and then something, not that we, we look at weight, but if you compare the weight of like this Condor one versus if I took the plates out of this, the weight of this, it does cut off several ounces. Or, and it comes down, I, this is daily wear. So yeah. you're wearing this all day long, you know, it comes down to comfort over time. And that's where you're really going to cut out, you know, getting out of these things that are made to kind of fit everybody, one size fits all. And, uh, you know, where these, yeah, a lot more adjustability into the one yep. size fits all, you know, the, they make those, yeah, for, toward the bigger spectrum. So, yeah, no, but overall, this is really great. Again, it has, uh, you know, you can put all your patches on up top here, moral patches on the Velcro. And again, the same goes for the back, the way it's open in the back, you can access it. There is no pocket in the back, highly adjustable. And again, I think for the money, again, it's not review, the review will be coming out, but, uh, so far it's held up. It's performed really well. I, I really like this plate carrier. Mm. So now let's go ahead and jump into your plate carrier. All right. All right, guys. So for my carrier, we have the Mayflower APC. And this is by no end the highest end of the scale of plate carriers. You know, this is that intermediate range. You know, I, I want to say I paid about 200 bucks, somewhere in there for this. But what you get with this is what I feel like a lot of modularity. This gives you a lot of options here, and that's what I like. So as you can see on here, I have a D3 chest rig, a Haley Strategic on here. And the nice part is it just clips right in. There's this swift clip system that it clips right in. There's a Velcro back. You got hook and loop paneling all up in here. And it just fits right on. You get a swift clip system from SKD Tactical. Clips right into the sides. And now you can lock a chest rig in there, which yeah, obviously carries all your, your mission essentials there. And or have your plate carrier completely slick. 
Uh, if you don't have a chest rig or something like that, it does have all the Molly options here. And what it also has is the like kangaroo pouch here in the front. Let's see if I can get this full open. And I mean, it's all hook and loop, and you can see there is there's tension on there. But there you can fit some mags in there as well. I think you can get about two mags in here as well. So even if you still wanted to run this slick, you could run it and use that actual kangaroo pouch that's integrated. And then we actually have another admin pouch up here, which you can keep papers and stuff like that in. And then there's another one actually behind it, which is a, a little deeper. And That's you where can the put, Skittles go. Yeah, you can put all your maps or yeah, your tasty treats in there throughout the class. Um, for this carrier, it's kind of a, a little different of a system for putting the plates in there. As you can see, it's still bottom fed how the other two were. But the difference is that you have this retention strap here. And what that does is it allows you to actually put tension all the way up on the plate. So it holds it all the way in place and then locks it in that way so it won't slide side to side or up and down. And then you get the secondary lock in of the bottom as well. Um, the other thing is this plate carrier is not one size fits all. As this size is a small, medium, they have another large, extra large, something like yeah. that. Um, the other option you're going to find on this carrier is cummerbund, and uh, as you can see, I went with a full cummerbund here. And what this allows, again gives you the option for side armor, which I don't have side armor in there, um, but I like it because again, just more storage, more mags, um, whatever the case may be, you know, whatever your mission is. So it just gives you again more options there with the com the full cummerbund. I find it to just be a little more comfortable. Um, it does come with shoulder straps, uh, shoulder pads that come on the straps. I found when wearing them, this rides so close in on your neck that with those pads, they would actually kind of cut into me. So I took them off and I've just run it just like this and I really have no problem. And it rides nice and high on the chest. Um, it's extremely comfortable. This version doesn't have a drag handle. I think they've changed that in later generations. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, I've ran this thing through, yeah, a couple classes now. I mean, it doesn't get a super, you know, it's not deployed combat wear at this point, but I would definitely feel good about taking this into combat. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the Mayflower APC. Yeah. Um, I mean, the biggest difference here is versus the, you know, the Grey Ghost and the Condor is the modularity that you get of being able to really, you can customize this one to what you want, whether it's, you know, the Cumberbund with the side panels, soft body arm on the side, you know, it really gives you that flexibility to customize it exactly how you want. If you need to run a, you know, a full loadout, you can do that with the panel. I mean, it, it really does offer a lot of features. Again, it is definitely a little bit bigger. There is a little more bulk to it compared to the other ones, but again, you have to have that bulk to get off of the modularity. No, so definitely. There, are, there are definitely trade-offs between all these. No, here. correct, correct. So, I mean, uh, you know, let us know in the comments which one do you think would fit your mission best. You know, yeah. let us know which one you think is uh, the best, or let us know what you're wearing. You yeah. Know, so. Yeah, definitely put that down below. If you guys got any questions, please put those down below as well. We'd love to answer those questions for you guys. And again, uh, there'll be full reviews on all these coming out here shortly on the channel as well as we run these through some classes. A couple more shoot house classes coming up this year. And then definitely have a full review for you guys when we actually run these through classes. So I think that's about it, Jesse. Thanks for bringing your plate care, sharing with everybody. And so until next time, guys, take care.